How often do you see it? How often are you seeing these random sights in your head? As if a child scribbles. <coughs> Too frequently, aren't you? And you don't know why. Because you think too much. You don't need to think to be successful. To be honest, it's exactly the opposite. You actually have to not think at all and just do to be successful. Finally enough. People who are successful aren't smart. Most people at the top hold a stu one of the stupidest beliefs. Their values are ending on their family. And it's not like they know much about rocket science. People at the top are not smart, but you are. You're probably smarter than most people around you. And it's so absurdly far for you to understand that you never ever have thought in your life that People around you are actually just more stupid than you. They are dumber than you. And all the information you are aware about. And every time you try tell this information and share it with them. They never believe you. Because they are not capable. The beliefs that they hold are such surface level ones. You are never able to understand them. How can, how can somebody think about all the time like football, like some sport? Like some girl. They do. And honestly, you do too, just in a lesser extent, because life wasn't that easy to you. Life just was not as easy to you as it was to them. They may be stupid, but they will still probably be more successful than you. They will probably have more money. They will probably be a father at an early age. They will have a family. They will have some property even, while considering that The rent or the house prices are at its highest ever. I believe they will, would still be somehow able to buy and acquire some property for the family to live in, even if to buy it in, in the credit. You're not alone. 
I can't just come to you and tell it my tell it to you myself. Unfortunately, this is a curse of the internet. We all have to accept. We never can feel like we're close to anybody while on the internet. It can be our, our girl, girlfriend, it can be our family, but nothing has ever been able to achieve true presence. You are suffering from what most people never think about, but are still suffering because of. You think that your online connections can make up for your absence of the real ones, but it's unbelievably untrue. You cannot do it this way. You need to somehow find somebody who will really share what you think and will share your motivation and life philosophy. It's extremely hard, but you cannot stop searching. This is vital for your survival and prosperity. People with real friends don't compare to people with no real friends and thousands, tens of thousands of online friends. One real friend will cost you more than 10 million people online. Find him, find this friend. And stop caring about people being so stupid. They are, but you are too, in your own way. Or as I like to say, on another scale. You are stupid, but not for most people, just for the small bunch you are allocated in online. If your whole life was, sur was being surrounded by the internet, that would mean that you will be more, much smarter than most people around you which don't spend as much time there, but it will never mean that you will be happier than them because you're smarter. It will only mean that you will be in the more despair. You will be much more depressed <laughs> and you will be actually much more confused about how to live your life the people who never sought for any answers whatsoever, nor on the internet, nor in real life. Change is a bliss in any shape or form, and procrastination is a curse in any way or form.